Okay, well, we're uh, here with Jim Fetzer here in his vineyard at Ciego in uh, Nice in Lake County, California. And Jim's going to tell us a little bit about what they do here and uh, some something about biodynamic farming. Yeah, well, welcome to Ciego. Um, I came over here in 2001 and purchased the property. Then it was all uh, walnuts. It was a big walnut orchard called the Barnyard. But you know, it always intrigued me the way the trees grew. They were so uh, they were huge, and I knew the soil was good underneath there. So I thought I would come over here and uh, build a biodynamic farm that was the uh, short-term vision where we could show people what biodynamic farming is. And basically it's like really good organic farming. We have the same list of things you can't do as organic, but we also have a list of things we have to do above and beyond organic. Like uh, kind of ferment them down into five different areas. One is we have to have diversity on the farm. We can't just have a monoculture of grapes. <clears throat> Number two, we uh, we have to have a compost program on the farm, which we do across the highway. We decompose everything that's left over from all of our projects, including the pumice. And uh, the third area is we have to have animal life on the farm. So we have chickens that we uh, keep in these little egg mobiles uh, that we can move them around. So if we see cutworms in the vineyard, we move the chickens into that area and they take care of the uh, cutworms. They work 27, 27, um, or 24-7, and they uh, they also supply us with really incredible, you know, eggs. We use sheep in the vineyard, so we roam those into the vineyard after we plant the cover crops, and then we take them out when bud break comes. And people say, hey, what do you do if the sheep eat the vines? I say, it's very simple, you eat the sheep. <laughs> so, so we do, we harvest a lot of the lamb. So another aspect of biodynamic farming is we have to use these homeopathic sprays. We use the 500 and the 501 and then uh, six different preparations in the compost to help regulate the decomposition. 500 uh, builds life and maintains life in the soil. 501 is made from silica, and we use that if we have a lot of uh, damp days, uh, days uh, that are cloudy, where we get a lot of yellow growth in, into the vines. And then we'll use the silica to help uh, uh, stimulate uh, photosynthesis and bring heat into the vine. So we do that, and the last area is uh, bio means life and dynamics of the forces. So we work with the forces of nature, the lunar, the solar, and the cosmic forces. And if we utilize those forces in our practices, it makes our jobs a little more efficient and effective. So in a nutshell, that's what we do here at Ciego. We feel if we use these practices that um, the wines, uh, we get more of a representative uh, authenticity in the terroir that we uh, represent here, opposed to the synthetic uh, way of farming. That's basically it. Excellent. Thanks, Jim. And what are some of the varietals that you grow here? The main varieties that we grow are Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. And then we do a lesser production with Cabernet Franc, Malbec, Syrah, and a little bit of Muscat Canelli. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Jim. I appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome.